Hello, I'm Dr. James Markham with Biblical Prescriptions for Life. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to be talking about the immune system today. Um, but before we do that, let's start out with a biblical prescription from James 3, verses 17. It talks about wisdom. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisies. That's quite a definition of wisdom. And that's what we seek is wisdom that comes from God, not just the knowledge of facts. Um, there's been a lot of discussion about scientific studies lately. And remember, scientific studies are made by men with biases, partiality. Um, they look at different results and money, unfortunately, drives decisions. So science is not the final word. Even though I, I bring scientific studies to you, that doesn't mean that we shouldn't look through the lens of the Bible. The Bible, in what it says, predates um, anything that science teaches us. So if science does not agree with the Bible, I would wonder whether this science is true. Um, but there's many things that the Bible has said years and years um, ahead of time that science eventually proves. That type of science, I would say, is good science. And I'm going to bring some examples um, to you of that in the future. But today, I wanted to talk about how our immune system is being changed, and I found two different articles um, that have been done. And the reason I want to bring up this is because um, in the last few years to date, there's been 13.38 billion, billion viral interventions. So there's been different types of 13.38 um, billion. That's a lot of studies. That represents about 72% of the entire world population. So a lot of people have received viral interventions or something that's been done to help with viruses. Um, this first study I want to bring to you is a Spanish study by Carla Martina Perez, and she looked at, um, after the viral intervention, the levels of antibodies, the different classes, and she's noticed that there's a class switch um, after these viral interventions. So what that means is normally our immune system is made up of different types of cells in different types of proportions. You know, there's a certain amount of super fighter cells, a super amount of policeman cells, and a super amount of mall cops. So basically, this, after the viral intervention, she's noted in this study that there's been more of the weaker immune cells, the mall co cops, than that there used to be. So in her study, she said she came up with these three conclusions. She showed that um, the IgG4 and Ig2 levels increase markedly after the third viral intervention. So they, they change after the first one, but markedly after the third one. Okay. Point number two, elevated IgG4 levels, or basically the weaker antibodies after these um, viral interventions are associated with an increased risk of infection. Well, that makes sense because if your immune system is weaker, the, if infection comes, even if it's the same infection that the intervention was made in the first place, you're more likely to get it because your immune system just can't fight off as well. So that's the second um, thing that she described in this study. And the last thing was she said, increase non-cytophilic to cytophilic antibody ratios correlate with reduced functionality. Well, that makes sense too. Um, the immune system cells just don't work as well when these ratios are changed. So this is called class switching, class switching, different classes are turned on and off. But it's another example of um, immune, um, the, the, the immune system just wearing out is becoming tolerant. So I thought that was a good study. And a study that had been done previously by Yaversky, and he, he said about the same thing, except he made a, a more broader conclusion. And in his study, 
um, Aversky, he said this, he says, increase IgG4 synthesis due to repeated viral interventions um, with high antigen foreign body concentrations may also cause autoimmune diseases, promote cancer growth, and autoimmune myocarditis, myocarditis in susceptible individuals. So everyone's immune system is so different. Um, we know very little about the brain, very little about the immune system, very little about the bio, biosphere in the, in the gut. We're just now learning. And um, as we learn about these things, um, different truths come out. So what we've seen here in this study, um, you, these two studies, you can definitely say a couple things. There's definitely a risk for viral interventions. And the risks seem to be greater in some people um, more than others. Here we have two studies that show that the, the after these viral interventions and in some, the immune system is definitely weaker, making them uh, more susceptible to infections. But not only this, um, any antigen or foreign body, if you're not sending out the fighter cells to shoot it, if you have weaker guys that just hit it on the head, the immune system is going to be weaker to anti-antigen. And some of these other antigens that they suggested was the antigens that that that, that are associated with cancer. Um, the immune system normally able to beat that down, maybe not work as well. These other autoimmune self body, normally the body can beat it down. But when the, the class switching changes, when this tolerance occurs, then all of a sudden the immune system's just not as good. And some people are genetically, they just have weak immune systems to begin with, and they're even more susceptible to these type of problems. Now, that's one important point. Two, more and more studies are being released now. Um, the HHS you know, has changed funding. So they're not funding as many things as they did. So the different types of studies being released and censorship is going down. They've recently cut $11 billion. Um, so, so there's, so, so some of the stuff that used to get through is not getting through and vice versa. So the landscape is changing. We're seeing more of studies coming forward that show some of the risk that might have been suppressed. Some people censored this in the past. Um, so things are changing under, under the new um, administration. So I just wanted to share this with you so you would have a greater knowledge and let you know that, yeah, people are at, have, have had, had some damage from these viral interventions that's gone on. And here's two studies that sort of back those up. And I've been reading, uh, our landscape is changing now, um, but we need to continue to love each other. We need to continue to seek wisdom. And in James, it says, but the wisdom that is from above is first pure, peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits without partiality and without hypocrisy. So we can trust the truths in the Bible above everything else. We have to have a true north um, an owner's manual, a source of truth that we can use as our lens to judge scientific studies, what people tell us, and everything else that's going on. So um, please share this with your friends and neighbors. Many of you know a lot more about this than I do. Please leave your comments and experiences below as it helps other people. Um, I'm going to be back soon with yet another biblical prescription for life.